seven effective ways to get rid of insects at home. Who doesn't want to keep their house free of pests? Unfortunately, the chemical pesticides sold in stores are way too toxic and harmful to be used anywhere near your home, family, or pets. If these chemicals can kill insects, surely they cannot be good for you. That's why it's better to use something natural and safe whenever possible. Luckily, there are effective and harmless methods of getting rid of any insects that have taken up residence in your home. But before you learn more about them, remember to click the subscription button and turn on notifications. This way, you'll always be the first to find out about daily updates on the bright side of life. Number 1. Cockroaches Cockroaches aren't simply disgusting creatures that you're terrified to spot in your house. They can also spread very serious diseases. Cockroaches don't feel squeamish about eating any sort of food, and that includes rotting garbage. As a result, if these insects appear in your home, they can bring in salmonella or gastroenteritis. On top of that, cockroaches are often the cause of an allergy. If you want to get rid of these pests, there are many products you can get from the store, but most of them are usually highly toxic. This can be especially dangerous if you have small kids or pets. Instead, you can try the following method, which is cheap, safe, and effective. Chop one onion and add one teaspoon of baking soda. Put this mixture in the corners of your house. Reapply daily and very soon you'll find your house free of roaches. Number 2. Ticks Ticks can be astoundingly different in size and color. It's crucial to protect yourself, your family, and your pets from these little nasties. These tiny creatures can spread terrible diseases such as Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Colorado Tick Fever, Ehrlichiosis, and Tularemia. Some of these conditions can be fatal. If you're not keen on applying chemical pesticides to your skin or your animal's fur, you can try some natural and safe mixtures. Tick Repellent for Humans all you need to do is mix 20 drops of rose geranium essential oil, 10 drops of sweetgrass essential oil, 5 drops of lavender essential oil, 5 drops of citronella or lemon essential oil, and 1 tablespoon of rubbing alcohol. Dilute this mixture with 100 milliliters of vinegar or water and transfer it into a spray bottle. Shake well and spray on your clothes before going outside. Tick Repellent for Dogs Dogs seem to be easy prey and are often targeted by ticks. Therefore, it's better to check your furry friend every time you come back from a walk in the park. Even so, there's a way to lower the chances of your pet being bitten. To prepare an effective repellent for dogs, mix 20 drops of rose geranium and pennyroyal essential oil with 2 tablespoons of almond oil. Place a few drops of this mixture on your dog or on its collar before you go outside. Be careful and remember, do not use it on cats or pregnant animals. Number 3. Garden Pests Aphids, spider mites, and other garden pests can do a great deal of damage to your garden. All your effort and hard work can be ruined in the blink of an eye. Certainly, there are many pesticides available nowadays, but if you use them, it can render your fruits and vegetables inedible. Try this harmless and natural solution. Mix half a cup of hot peppers with a half a cup of garlic or onion. Blend it until it turns into a paste. Mix this paste with two cups of warm water. Let it sit for 24 hours in a warm place and then strain it. Spray your plants with this liquid. Another way to get rid of garden pests is to create a special repellent with the use of tobacco. This product is especially effective if you need to scare away worms, aphids, and caterpillars. Take one cup of loose tobacco and mix it with one gallon of water. Place a container of this mixture in a warm place and leave it for 24 hours. The color of the resulting liquid should resemble light tea. If it looks darker, add some water. If it's too light, let it rest for several additional hours. Add some liquid dish soap to the mixture and stir for a couple of minutes. Three tablespoons will be enough. Put this DIY pesticide into a big spray bottle and disperse it over the infested plants. Warning. Don't use this natural pesticides on tomatoes, eggplants, or peppers. Number 4. Spiders 
even if you don't have any poisonous spiders in your area, you'll most likely still appreciate knowing for sure that they can't come into your house. If they do find their way inside, they can get absolutely everywhere, and even the smallest ones are really scary. This natural repellent won't kill spiders, but it will keep them away because they don't like strong smells. Add 5 to 10 drops of peppermint oil into a mix of 1 cup of water and a quarter teaspoon of liquid detergent. Shake this mixture well and spray the affected areas once a week until all the spiders run away. The peppermint oil can be substituted with eucalyptus, citronella, lavender, or tea tree oil. Number 5. Ants Ants can be very annoying. They suddenly appear from nowhere, often sneaking into your kitchen or pantry. If ants are making their way into your home, there's a method to make it less attractive for them. Apparently, ants absolutely hate the smell of cinnamon. That's why you should put cinnamon powder in places where you think the ants are entering. For more effective results, you can add some essential oil to the cinnamon powder. As a side effect, you'll get a very nice, earthy smell in your house. If it's you that doesn't like the smell of cinnamon, try white vinegar instead. It has such a strong odor that ants try to avoid it. Just pour some vinegar into a spray bottle and use it around the area where ants enter your home. Number 6. Dust mites These things are so tiny that you can't even see them with the naked eye. But unfortunately, if you don't see them, it doesn't mean they're not around. They live in household dust, prefer warmer places, and their favorite food is skin flakes. So guess where they are likely to be? That's right, on your bed! Ew! Although dust mites don't bite, many specialists believe that they can cause bad allergic reactions and skin irritations. Even if you are not allergic to them, you probably don't want to share your house with these little bugs, right? Mix 6 teaspoons of eucalyptus oil with 1.5 teaspoon of liquid laundry detergent in a bucket of water. Soak washable items for an hour or so, and then wash them as normal. You can also add about 30 drops of eucalyptus oil to your washing machine. For anything you can't put in a washing machine, use a special spray. Fill a spray bottle with water and add about 30 drops of eucalyptus oil. Shake well and spray it around your home. Don't forget about your bed, pillows, furniture, carpets, and so on. If you use this spray for your furniture, remember to wipe it off with a clean cloth afterward. If you don't like the smell of eucalyptus oil, you can substitute it with tea tree oil, which is just as effective. Number 7. Weevils If you leave flour, cereal, or rice unsealed in the pantry, you might end up with these unwanted bugs in your food. Weevils prefer grains and seeds, but can also appear in flour or even pancake mix. The larvae of these bugs live and develop inside your food supplies. And you don't even suspect anything until one month after their birth when they suddenly appear in your food. How can you prevent this nightmare from happening? Nobody wants chemical pesticides anywhere near their food. Luckily, there's a trick that can be a good alternative solution. It seems that weevils really don't like the smell of bay leaves or cloves. Drop a clove or bay leaf on top of your food and around the containers to keep them away from your pantry. Which of these tricks did you find the most useful? Maybe you have your own bug repelling secrets? Share your experience in the comments below. Press the like button if this video was useful, and remember to subscribe and join us on the Bright Side of Life.